Today we're going to unbox an HP laptop. It has a 15.6 inch screen, an AMD A6 series processor, it has 4 gigabytes of memory, has a 1 terabyte hard drive, and it runs the latest Windows operating system. Here are some specs. It's an HP model 15 DB0015DX. It is a laptop. Has a AMD dual core A6 9225 accelerated processor, a one terabyte hard drive, a DVD RW optical drive, Windows 10 home and S mode. It has a DDRW S DRAM, 15.6 diagonal HD LD display and uh, YLAN and Bluetooth. Well, let's get to the unboxing. Got some papers and power cord and stuff over here. It's not coming out. Power cord. Put the laptop out. more paperwork some more paperwork nice packaging Let's see what this thing looks like Pretty color. Has a textured finish, which is nice. I have it upside down, of course. We'll get the power cord in there. This will go into here. Well, let's see what it looks like. It weighs 3.9 pounds, has an HDMI output, built-in media reader for a simple photo transfer, supports SD memory cards, wireless and wired networks. The nice thing is it does have a DVD. I guess we ought to try powering it up. Something's happening. Has a webcam. How many USB ports? Well, there's two on that side. Has speakers. Doesn't say what kind of speakers. Comes with uh, a Netflix software included. It's considered jet black. Has a one year limited warranty. Kensington Nano Security Slot. One USB 2.0 and two USB 3.1. Three USB ports and one HDMI. One year limited warranty. 90 day phone support. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. 
Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to U.S. Want to stick with that? Y yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Yes. Now type your credentials. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Now we have some important setup to do. Now let's see what's new from Windows. You'll need to select Accept to use Windows. Okay, we'll accept it. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Why do you always have to set stuff up? They build these great machines and it still takes your interaction to get them to work. Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. How about no? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Basic diagnosis data, online speech recognition, find my device, inking and typing, send inking and typing data to Microsoft to improve language. I don't know, that's location. Experience disk in the weather. You know, I think I'm going to do no on a couple of these. 45 WAC power adapter. It's got a battery that's a 3 cell 41 WHL ion. We're almost there. Okay, where are we? Sync your browser, one account, see what's new. I think I'll just X this out and start with Microsoft Edge. Hey, we'll fix that fast. Hit it twice. It's already open. What's this? Faster than both Chrome and Firefox. Seriously. I want to download another browser. Let's try with Opera. You guys ever used Opera? It's great. Been using it since it was born. It's Opera.com. Let's go with that and download the latest browser with a free VPN. That's interesting. So I guess I just want to hit run. For security reasons and performance, Windows 10 is S in S mode and runs Microsoft verified apps. You already have Microsoft S safer. Switch out of S mode. Oh, we'll switch out of S mode. That's new to me, S mode. Well, we switched out of S mode from Windows 10 S to now we should be in Windows 10. So now we'll try downloading a browser. Well, let's do this. Do install. And it seems to be working. I think we've succeeded. So let's just try a search. Uh, I'll try uh, Firefox. Firefox. Okay, is that an ad? No, let's just do it. Go for it. That way we'll have two browsers plus Edge. Hit yes. Now installing. Kind of need to have an extra browser around just in case one crashes or goes bad. That way you can go and search for another browser. Well, here's Firefox. Usually you'll want to customize this so you right click and then customize and add a tab page. I like to move it down over here with the home button. A menu bar. See now you do the file 
then you want to do uh, the bookmarks and then you close this out and then you can go click this plus button and it'll open a new tab and then you click your home button and it should take you to a home button and you can change that by going under tools and options your home page that you want it to land on every time clicking home again okay home and new windows new tabs Firefox home default custom URL let's just try Yahoo transferring there see it took you right to Yahoo anyway this concludes our video for the HP uh, laptop model 15 DB 0015 DX Thank you.